Uh, today we're going to have a look at the new RS2206 from my RC Mart. Uh, these are the 2206 poor man's red bottoms. Uh, they're 70, uh, 75 aluminium material, CNC, and uh, it's a bit of an upgrade to the to the H2206. So we'll have a bit of a comparison between the two. So immediately off the bat, it's um, it's obvious that they've they've changed the bell design. Um, the base has been um, let's have a bit of a look there. The base has actually stayed the same. So they've they've kept the same base, but they've um, lightened up the the bell there to uh, I guess because the 7075 is heavier, so they had to do something to try and get the weight down. I imagine so. Um, this is what you get in the pack. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit sick. Okay, so a couple of screws, fairly long wire length, and your uh, 2206. So, uh, straight off the bat, we might as well weigh them. Um, my scales will work. So, that's a comparison. I've got 28.991, I think. Can't quite see. Camera can probably see better than I can. Uh, so yeah, about 28.9 grams. And for the old uh, 2206, H2206, 2,250 kV. So it's close as possible to the 2400 kV there. Ooh, it's a bit flight. Um, so what have we got there? 29.02. Yeah. So. They're a little bit heavier than the older series, but very, very close. Um, wire length there, you know, it could could even be the wire length almost, but they're very close to the older series. What's this fly? Okay. Um, so we might as well take them apart and have a quick look inside. Um, of <clears throat> like always, they've got the E-clip there, very easy to remove, so you, for the regular viewers, you've seen this a million times, but um, always good to show. And pop it off like that, Ooh, pop, and Always keep your e clip in the bag. And oh, they're strong. <coughs> Alright, then there we go. So definitely balance. See if we can get this to focus. <coughs> I can't see the focusing on the camera on my setup. I need new cameras. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. Um, and yeah, so we've got all the blue gook everywhere, looking nice, definitely balanced. Uh, just like the the new 2205 series, which I've got a couple wide around here somewhere. Um, looking, you know, very similar to the to the 2205s. Really, um, machine wound very quickly. Uh, Bearings, bearings, of course, of course. I <coughs> don't know why they're doing this. They're like gluing them in, or the tolerances are <coughs> very, very tight. I do apologise for my uh, constant coughing and carrying on. I really should save this video for later, but anyway. So, yeah, bearings are not coming out easy like the old. Uh, 2205s. The 2206s are very much the same. They're probably glued in or something. We'll, we'll have a look at that too. Actually, let's just quickly do that now. Save that clip in the bag. Um, so I'm in 
you can see these back, I mean I've been flying these for well over a year I think and I mean, they show they've been bashed around and this is only 60, 65 and you know <laughs> I mean yeah they're starting to rust, they're old motors uh, but you know they were balanced, they were, these were top motors and if I spin this, look at <laughs> look at that, they're rusting but if I spin this, they're still as smooth as they were day one. Like these motors could take a beating, an absolute beating, and they were still really good. And that's why I love the H2206s. They just sort of started to lack power with the modern day motors. So um, yeah, these. I mean, it's probably hard to say. These are probably more rusted in than glued in these days, but they were never really easy to get out. You sort of had to. Um, get them on a vise and, and bash, bash them out and then get them the other way up with some um, balsa wood or something and bash the other one out and then uh, press them back in with a 3mm uh, bloody 3mm screw and some bolts and yeah it wasn't fun but you barely had to do it anyway because I mean, this motor has been beaten around and it's still good so hopefully same uh, sticks true to this motor and, and the bearings stay good. The 2205 series sort of went to shit a little bit there with the motors, but it, you know, it's hard to say with, um, with the material and uh, and whatnot what, what was going on there, but anyway. So we'll chuck that back on. Oh wow, those magnets are just eating my circle. There we go. It's e clip, E clip, not so clip. There we go. Shove that back in. Back on it goes. Okay. Beautiful. So I mean, all all the motors I received were nice and smooth once again. Um, it is a little bit surprising considering the the state of some of the 2205s recently but um yeah no very nice and those magnets just I mean you can really feel each each every, and then <clears throat> each individual magnet as you twist that motor around it feels really nice uh, so I'll be chucking those on the uh, the BDX twig which is this nice new little race frame I've received and yeah give a good flash, uh, thrashing around uh, I'm pretty excited about that one. Um, yeah, so I think I think I've covered everything. We've we've weighed them, we compared them to the old 2205s. Um, the bearings are still stuck in, which is uh, a little bit shit. But hopefully that might be able to change if they're glued in. I'll ask and we'll ask if they can maybe not be glued in because they don't need to be glued in at all. Uh, the <coughs> oh yes, dual grub screws. I missed that on the last video, dual grub screws on either side of the shaft, they're still 0.9mm or 1mm, I can't use my 1.5mm so that's a bit shit but anyway, hopefully they change that soon too, maybe, maybe not. Um, really hopefully I don't ever have to put a, uh, an Allen key into that grub screw and adjust it, hopefully these just rock out until I burn them out doing something stupid or water damage or, or something. That's that's the the hope. Uh, so yeah. Alrighty. See you on the next one.